funny. You haven't seen a cherry cloth kilt before? <laughs> the kilt's so okay for that hair. What's wrong with it? Asian men don't have hair on their legs. Oh. <laughs> and man, oh man, what if the neighbors see you? Well, the neighbors won't see me if you give me my pants. Oh, I've had these done for hours, just waiting for you. No, sure. Now you go put these on pronto. Thank you. <laughs> Can't figure out what's gotten into the Duke lately. Never seen him laughing so much. I think he's excited about having a baby. Oh, yes, sure. Ta-da! How do I look? Oh, Polly. Awesome. <laughs> you look <laughs> wonderful. Just like a little lady. Thank you. <laughs> How come Owen has to bring me home early? Oh, you know the rules. In school days, you have to have full night's sleep, even at the weekends. Okay! Oh, you get your pants on, Bob. Okay. All right. Daddy! Come here. Wait, Mickey. Oh, I see. Tell me, who is this delightful young lady that I'm in the company of? You look very handsome, too. Well, thank you. So where's Shell? Had an appointment at the hospital. Don't. Don't worry, we're going to pick her up later, and then we'll all meet up for the festivities. Thought I'd just call in and say hello. Uh, better? <laughs> But just make sure you don't sit down in those bridges till you get to the complex. I don't want to see any creases in them till folks see how cool they look. Oh, personally, I think the kilt was cool. Oh, I <laughs> yeah. Hello. Well, your mood seems to have improved. You got a minute? Ah, uh, let's put powder on Ezra. Come on. Okay. You look pretty. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. What can I do for you? Would you like a drink or something? Well, you know what I'm interested in. Olivia, is she or isn't she? Now, have you ever seen me this happy? What do you think? Well, as is normally the case with you, I can never tell. Olivia was lying. She isn't pregnant. It was all just some power ploy that she concocted over the mob. I've had it out with her, and she won't be bothering Anna or I again. Go on, fix yourself a drink. Cheryl! Olivia, I'm, I'm sorry. I have a date with Robert. We're going to be late for this dinner. We'd hoped you'd come by to see my father. Can you get this straight? I do not want to have anything to do with any Jerome's. Robert was very upset about what you said to Robin at my apartment. And I have told you, I am not going to jeopardize my relationship with him to be friends with you. I'm sorry old friendships mean so little to you. It's lucky Julian's dead. Saves you the trouble of turning your back on him, too. My friend Cheryl just mentioned some ceremony that she's going to. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, I know exactly about that. It's the opening of the Performing Arts Center. Most of the town's going to be there, except for those of us stuck working. <laughs> Visitors in town always miss the best things. Visitors and nurses. <laughs> Will you be needing this? Uh, not unless I can find some sucker to fill in on my shift here. <laughs> yeah, you can have it if you want. Have some fun for me while you're at it. Well, thank you. Sure. Amy? What's taking Colton so long? I was sure he'd be here by now. Don't worry, he'll make it for the main event. Oh, darling, he's not the only one. He'll be late if you don't hurry up and pick out a dress to wear. Oh, I don't know. The red one's my favorite one, but Frisco likes it, too, and I'm just afraid that if I wear it, I'll think about the past, and then it'll make me sad. Oh, darling, that part of your life is over. But it was filled with fun and excitement while it lasted. Sometimes I miss him so much. Oh, I know, darling, but you will use what you and Frisco had to build on a new future. And if you do that, then your memories will never make you sad. They'll just bring you nothing but joy. <laughs> <Tell you. laughs> darling. I just, I can't go on with this any longer. I'm sorry, you've been a big help, but it's getting late, and I need to get over to the arts complex, okay? Say hello to Felicia for me. That's it? Say hello to Felicia for me. You're not going to try and convince me to stay? I'm not a jailer. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. I just wonder if you've forgotten why you came here in the first place. What? I came here in the first place to figure out why I was writing the Greek word for sanctuary. And I figured it out. And I really appreciate it. Thanks for all your help. But let's just quit now, okay? Carl, when you were in the military, were you familiar with the term fail-safe point? Yeah, of course. You know what it means? Yeah, it's the point at which you can't turn back. 
Once you pass the fail-safe point, it's more dangerous to turn back than it is to complete your objective, so there's no turning back. Sound familiar? Oh, come on, Tom. This isn't the same. Isn't it? Up until a few minutes ago, all your memories were idyllic and romantic. A beautiful, exotic girl, relaxed surroundings, good friends. Then things got a little rough. Are you saying that I'm afraid to go on? Call my bluff. I'd like to, but uh, I don't have any time right now. You're past that fail-safe point now, Colton. You walk out that door and what's buried in your mind could destroy your life as well as Felicia's. You're not sure of that. I don't have to be. It's not my life. All right, let's do it. But Sit down and relax. You know the format. Take some deep breaths. Exhale slowly. She looks like a royal princess. Oh, I bet. We have a minor emergency. We oh. need some thread, but she looks gorgeous. Oh, it's times like this that I'm happy to be a guy. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You know, I'm looking forward to meeting your candidate. I read this wonderful article about him in a magazine back home. He sounds like a very impressive man. Well, I'm afraid you won't get a chance this afternoon after all. No. He wanted to be at the ceremonies, especially since he donated the building, and he feels very strongly about it. But what? somebody committed him to a speech on the other side of town. Oh, dear. Well, um, that's too bad, because I know Felicia was looking forward to seeing him. Yeah, I know. He tried to get out of the other commitment, but it didn't work out. But his son Gregory will be there, and uh, his wife, and she'll be filling in for him, giving a speech. Oh, good. All set. Okay. Excuse me. Yes. Hi. Oh, ah! hello, darling. Oh. oh, it's good to see you. You, too. Oh, this is going to be such a wonderful evening for you. Well, it's all your granddaughter's fault. This complex was her idea from beginning to end. For Frisco. No, for more than that. It's for life and for love. Mm. <laughs> oh! I can feel Frisco smiling. Oh, so can I. I want him to be smiling, Tony. Smiling for both of us. Hey, we're the past. He looks for the future. The bright and the warm future. Starting today, starting with the complex. And I want us all to have a great time. Oh, well, I don't think we can miss with that because we got all the biggies at the ceremony, and then we got a rock concert in the theater, and then we got the dance company from the university at the dance studio, <laughs> and then the dinner and dance at the Port Charles Hotel. So. Oh. Sounds like a full ticket to me. Yes. Go, go, go. Maybe I should give Colton another try. Oh, no, don't bother. He's probably on his way to the complex anyway. Come on, Come on he won't yeah. let you down. He'll be there. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we have it. What do you see? Nothing. Everything's blank. All I see is black, and I don't see anything. Don't try to force anything. Just go back to the last thing you remember. Relax. Let the memories begin when they left off. You said the terrorists had just drugged you. Yes. Yes, they drugged me. Made me sleep. Come on, come on, let's have a nice long talk, huh? Come on, forget. come on, come on, wake up. I don't know. Come on, come on. You told the pretty lady. When I woke up. Sit up, soldier. Come on. I don't know how much later. Come on, I'm gonna choke the life out of you. No, no, no. I was in what looked like a military headquarters. And then another injection. I lost all track of time. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know whether it was hours, days, or weeks. And they kept questioning me about Ariel. They kept showing me her pictures, telling me she was a traitor. I don't know when. Look at it! Look! And I guess it was because of the drugs. But at some point, she killed your friend. I began to believe that they were really Marines. Open your eyes and look, boys! And another injection. They kept questioning me about Ariel. 
kept telling me that she was a traitor, kept showing me her picture, telling me she was a traitor. There was another picture. A picture of a man. I remember that. Look at him! But I can't see his face. And they said he was a traitor, too. They said that he and Ariel were working together to undermine the United States government. Huh? With the blood, guts, the eyeballs hanging out, everything. I kept fighting them. Yeah, they killed them. I wouldn't believe what they were telling me. And then they drugged me again. Start counting backwards. Ten, nine, eight, <clears throat> seven, I did six, it. five. I know I did it. I four, must. Four, three, two, one. <clears throat> what if I did it? What if, what if I followed their orders? You don't know that you did. What if I killed Ariel? Either way, Colton. Don't try to deal with it until we know more. <clears throat> I'm gonna be here a while. Would you call Simone and my folks and tell them to go ahead without me? Thank you. Well, hi. I'm glad we bumped into each other. I need to ask you a big favor of you. You name it. I wouldn't ask you except that I'm in a real bind. Dr. Hardy, that was your son. Good. Is he on his way out? No, sir. He said he's going to be a while longer, and he suggested you go ahead to the ceremonies of the complex without him. Oh. Well, that gives us a vacant seat in the car. Would you care for a lift? No, it's all right. I've got my own car. What about this favor? Oh, yes, yes. I'm supposed to attend a symposium on family medicine uh, downstate tomorrow, leading a, a panel. But the workload here is just too great. Would you mind filling in for me? No, not a bit. No. Uh, yeah, you'd have to leave tonight. That's okay. I'll, I'll call your office. I'll get details. Uh, I'll probably have to leave the dedication ceremonies early, and then I'll just catch a shuttle. It'll be fine. I really appreciate uh, it, Alan. Steve, we really mm -hmm. better get going. We're going to be late. All right, all right. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll catch you up. Good. Ah, all right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good evening. Good evening. Alan. Hi, hi. Could, could I ask you a huge, huge favor? This has got to be my day to be a good Samaritan. Please, go ahead and ask. Well, I was on my way to the ceremonies, as you can see. You look gorgeous. Oh, well, thank you. And, well, the fact of the matter is, I, I really don't want to go alone. You got a lot of spunk, Lucy Coe. Most people under your circumstances wouldn't even show up at all. Well, I don't want to confirm Tony's suspicions that I don't like Frisco, and he's, he's mistaken, and I feel like I really have to go. Well, I'll be very, very proud to be your escort. Reminds me, I, I've just got to give Monica a call first because I'm going to have to leave early and take the shuttle tonight. Oh, okay. Um, thank you for this, Ellen. And how is she enjoying the spa, by the way? I don't know. I haven't even heard from her. She's probably bored out of her mind eating raw carrots and celery sticks, playing pinochle with fat old ladies. <laughs> Lesson. Now, excuse me. Now, I don't need a riding lesson. I happen to ride very well. At your service. I thought you were the tennis pro. And the riding instructor. Well, I don't need a riding instructor. What I need is a horse. And a guide. House rules are no one on the trails without the guide. And today, I'm your guide. Oh, did you just decide to be my guide today? No. Actually, I was the only one available at the moment. Not that I mind. Okay, now where is this bridal path? Does it sort of go around the tennis courts and we'll be jumping over the nets? No. And our horses are spirited, so you won't be needing the riding crop. Who said I was going to use the crop on a horse? 